Hello, 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 guys. Chaos Science and it's Big Nose. Hail you, and today we are going to talk about death in the Warcraft universe, about the powers of death, about the team death, about the agents of death. Call it however the fuck you want. Why? Well, because people slowly started to realize that I was fucking right a while ago when I called out the bomb zombies boss when I saw the data footage. So now you may ask, why the fuck am I making another video about something I already talked about and blah 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 blah. Well, the answer is simple. I sticked a few more pieces together and expanded on my theory. For this expanding, I have to give my sincerest thanks to one and only Big Beard Man, Ecolon. If you don't know who Ecolon is, link to his channel or maybe to his video, which got me thinking, is down in the description. But before we start, let's get this out of the table. There will be no talk about Yoxaro. I don't give two fucks about Yoxaro, okay? He claimed that he is the god of death. Now, I claim I'm a god of sex appeal. Does it make me a god of sex appeal? No, it does not. It's like when Archimon said, The Legion comes and with it, this world breathes its dying breath. Or when Kujaden said, Watch as my infinite army slaughters them all. Saying you are a god of something doesn't make you a god of something, okay? It's just a typical villain talk when they are trying to scare us. Now, let's put a little reminder of what I talked about in the last video about the Bone Summit boss, and in case you haven't seen it, which is most likely the case, although it's my most viewed lore video, or you've simply forgotten what I was talking about. Long story short, there is a guy called Muexo, a Loa worshipped by most of the Simply Trolls. And he's usually referred to simply as death. Why do I think that he has such a significance? Well, he appeared in many forms, but the most interesting and the most common are the 12 feet tall troll, okay, and the ever shifting cloud of darkness. Now we may wonder, well, chaos, I've heard this thing before. Of course, because ever-shifting cloud of darkness is what Odin made a deal with way back when he was researching the Shadowlands to find out how to create Valkyr. By the deal, he lost his eye, but he got the knowledge on how to create Valkyr. Now, what do the Valkyr do? Well, they search the realms of the dead. They guide the souls of the dead. Either to Odin, who reforms them into the Valajar, or to Helia, who make them into the Qualdir, or whatever the fuck, or to their bodies, Iron Jesus' breath spirit healers. Or they guide them to Sylvanas, who makes her a little undead, or to the Lich King. He had Valkyrs too, remember? Now we have a connection, don't we? Sylvanas Vintran, Odin, Lich King, and Helia use the Valkyr. <laughs> Helia is one of them. You could argue that Sylvanas is not in a proper position of Valkyr, that she cannot make them, that she has only borrowed them, and... Oh, but here comes a little bot. Okay, big bot. So, BOT! There is one quote from Malfurion. It was not my place to interfere. My victory was inevitable. He was merely wasting my time. Finish him and be done with it. Take a moment if you like. Then take his head. Meet me at the World Tree. You have led your horde in service of death. You will regret this day. She led the horde in the service of death. Service of Moezal. With whom she is working. Either directly or through the Valkyrs. And by the way, I should have mentioned this well before, but I kind of wrote it here in the script, whatever. Helia is definitely not dead. So I was calling out for months, by the way. On the island expeditions, you can find a ring. A ring with the sign of Helia. When you turn it to the very cool guy somewhere in Zuldazar, I can't, I can't speak for myself. I haven't done the quest. I couldn't find the ring. But. He tells you this. Another <coughs> ring. <clears throat> yeah, we have been seeing them more frequently. All the more grimaces. Helia is growing in power. 
What small one? Are you surprised? Did you think she was defeated? <laughs> you cannot kill death, man! I thank you for making me laugh today, little friend. Only heard about your search for us, right? We have gathered what we could. Here, take it. We don't want it. Fuck you. So, Helia is of course out there and Odin knows it. Now, what about Vomsamdi? He doesn't have any Valkyrs in his team. He's alone. He's collecting souls and making deals. Well, let's think about it. How do we actually see Vomsamdi in game mostly? When we act like an idiot. When we overpull mobs or jump over the cliffs or when a bunch of alliance cowards gains us 40 versus 1. Yes, he's a spirit healer. <laughs> he guides the souls to the afterlife. That's what Valkyr do for the Orden of Helia. He can bring back the dead in the form of ghosts, but still. That's basically what Valkyr do for Sylvanas and the Lich King. You could argue that Sylvanas actually is a ghost and brought back by the Valkyr. Yes, I am aiming on the point that Vomsamdi is basically a Valkyr. Well, Valkyr even made a deal with Sylvanas. Deal. That's what Vomsamdi does. We got a deal. But right now, the true tinfoil comes. Let me grab my tinfoil hat. All good, all good. How to connect the Lich King to this? The Lich King was created by a band of Nathrezim and Kil'jaeden, presumably on the planet of Arcus, a planet that hosted the Titan, which is presumably the Titan of Death. Okay, not that much info so far, but it will come. Stick with me. What if there is a connection between Legion and Muexala? Perhaps even between Arcus himself and Muexala? You know, the thing is that Muexala in the Traveler series worked with a Nathrezim. Who was still pretty much, pretty much loyal to the Legion, after all, you don't desert from Sargeras. Remember Ultaesh? The Affliction Warlock artifact weapon? That was an Athrazim who deserted from Sargeras. You don't desert from Sargeras, okay? In the latest book, Traveler the Sparrow Pass, Muezala claimed that he will consume Azeroth in flames, well, just as Kuldan said, in the end, death will inherit this world. Out. Sargeras will rise, and together we will watch your world burn. That will inherit this world, the world will burn. Muezala, the guy who was nicknamed Death, claimed that he would consume Azeroth in flames, so there is a connection with the Legion. Gul'dan's quote suggest maybe even a Direct cooperation, or sort of a direct cooperation, well, but the true question now is what exactly is Muexala, okay? I am now gonna dive even more into the tinfoil, but unfortunately I don't have enough tinfoil head to expand my head. I was cooking potatoes in my grill recently pretty much, and it caused a lot of tinfoil on that, and I am stuck with this little, this little head. But, could Muezal be projection of Arcus's consciousness into the Shadowlands, the sentient part of his soul? Well, we have seen the rise of the death after Argus was defeated. Could Echo and Pyromancer be actually right when they speculated about Argus's death at the seat of the Pantheon, that uh, Sargeras' plan to get Argus where he belongs? The Shadowlands? Could Pyromancer be right even more and Argus was actually butchered by the Pantheon and the Muexala is what is out of that? Of course, the Muexala part is mine idea, Pyromancer went into the direction of the old gods, but I, I say Muexala is part of Argus. Now, of course, now, let me know in the comment section down below because that was enough info for one day, I think. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have liked this video, then give it a like, of course. If you have disliked this video for some reason, well, then dislike the shit out of this video and out of me. Then, of course, I'm going to take off the info hat because it's pretty hot in here and my hair will probably die. I'm turning out slowly. Uh, oh, fuck. I... Then, of course, leave the comments below to tell me what you think about this. Am I mad? Probably. 
What else let it be right? And of course, guys, don't you fucking dare to forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, okay? Otherwise, more as will come to your dreams and scare you. Yeah? How we could Good. So, of course, then make sure you will follow me on Twitch. Link to it is down in the description. Unfortunately, my schedule is currently broken by exams, and soon I will have to remake my schedule completely to fit the school schedule. So far, it seems pretty well that on the first days will be my dead days, because I will be in school since 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm most likely gonna stream the shit out of the raids, which means like a Wednesday, Sunday, and Mondays, I think 8 p.m. Central European time until 11 p.m. more or less. Of course, if everything will go right, then expect some mythic raiding streams. <laughs> So, of course, guys, thank you for watching. Remember that I call myself Chaos Lance and I'm trying to be a proper content creator. You can help me out by sharing the word about my existence, and with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. So, guys, once more, once more, I thank you for watching or letting me know what you think, and I will see you somewhere in the future. Bye bye.